I'm going to do a quick video on um, the settings I'm using for Dark Souls 2 uh, in NVIDIA Inspector and also the 3D settings I'm using for Dark Souls 2 in the NVIDIA Control Panel. So I'm going to start with NVIDIA Control Panel. Whoops, that's not NVIDIA Control Panel. Okie dokie, so under Manage 3D Settings I went into Program Settings and then drop down, select Dark Souls 2. Um, this is what I'm running. Uh, maybe under SLI Rendering Mode you need to change this to Recommended. Okay, you can go ahead and see on there what I have set up. Okay, if you need to uh, apply, click apply, otherwise close it out. Um, and then under here you can also see uh, show SLI visual indicator so you can see how well SLI is working. And then under inspector, I had a, a comment or um, get this to work but wasn't able to get any of the settings changed. It all showed up as a default. So I'm just going to highlight this so they can see what my settings are. I didn't change any of these as far as I know. They just kind of showed up like the compatibility bits for this. Uh, these, Most of these are probably the settings I turned on in control panel. But um, there's the SLI compatibility bits. <coughs> the aliasing stuff texture filtering. You can just pause the video when you need to. Ambient inclusion stuff. Uh, none of that's changed. At least not in here. I do have the downsampling mod turned on so I don't know if this is reflecting any of the downsampling stuff. Uh, looks like these two settings you can change in here from default if yours doesn't already uh, reflect these changes. And this stuff I think just isn't even changeable. Well, maybe it is. Uh, I didn't change any of this stuff in here anyway, and I showed you the control panel stuff already. So, with the control panel stuff and the inspector stuff reflecting these changes, uh, I would imagine your SLI should uh, turn on. Apply changes if you need to. And uh, close. Um, anyway, uh, let me know if that helps. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.